Hello, this is the part 3 of our uh, shouldering. I have uh, conducted this shouldering job in 3 parts up till yet. I will be coming up with a few 2 or 3 more parts which will be last will be uh, removing and placing of the BGA and using of shoulder baths and all. Uh, but as far as this model is concerned, I will be uh, talking about uh, the track open cases, uh, how to remove and place the capacitors on the motherboard, the usage of uh, say like uh, the spirit to what we use it and the usage of uh, my shoulder paste. Uh, so these are the things I will be talking about now. Say very important thing is to keep the life of the ICs Whenever I use a hot air gun, the temperature of the IC rises up to a quite extent because removing and basing requires approximately a temperature of around uh, 180 to 250 degrees centigrade. So we have to bring down the temperature as soon as possible to around 30, 40 or near about the room temperature. So to do this, we use isopropyl alcohol uh, by which we do this. Now, just I'll show you the procedure how we do it. Now, let us say I remove any component, maybe a multi leg component. This is how I have removed a component from here. I will be placing it back. Now the very important is I use this spray. Uh, in this uh, isopropyl alcohol is there. Uh, I will just spray it out over here to bring the temperature as uh, to the normal to the room temperature as soon as possible. You can also use a hand blower or a mechanical blower to dry it out fast and bring the temperature to the normal room temperature. Now if you try to touch it, you won't feel that heat. Uh, what if you do it, you cannot touch it after shouldering say like. So the temperature have just come down. So this is how after removing and pacing of any component, the very important thing is to keep the life of the component that we bring down the temperature as soon as possible. Especially working with the ramps, working with the room, removing and placing of room, uh, removing and placing of uh, bridge ICs, the south bridge and the north bridge ICs and so on. So the temperature has to be brought down to normal as soon as possible. Even the feds what we use, the feds say like this are the feds, uh, say like a three legged uh, element, these are the feds. So if I want to remove the feds and all, there are components which takes longer time to come up. Say suppose uh, these are uh, shouldered by the shoulder wire. A shoulder wire consists of a lead and a tin. It is a combination of a lead and a tin. Generally the percentage what we use is a 60% is lead and 40% is tin. This is the uh, transistor what I am showing you. Now I am placing it back. Once it is properly placed, remove the heater first then remove the tweezer and the next important thing is to spray the alcohol so that it the temperature can come down normally as soon as possible so this is how you remove and this is the use of alcohol over there now there are some ICs or some motherboards which are bit old maybe say like uh, four years five years six years old in that case you will find that uh, the uh, my ICs are not coming up so in that case what you have to do is you have to use a shoulder paste so you can use anything just add a paste to the sides of the IC use a shoulder paste they are available in both format in a paste format and a liquid format both you can use a paste 
and then give the heat you will find that the removing and placing of the component is much more easier and simpler it comes out very fast the component is already there in my hand this is an IC I have removed up again I want to place it up removing and placing of any multi-leg component very important after removing and placing of any multi-leg component very important that you check up every pin whether the pin has shouldered or not so like how to do you can take any sharp uh, equipment and just touch up at each pin and see whether they are moving or not whether they are properly placed or not so this is how you check up your IC legs uh, for every leg has been properly fixed or not in case if you find that one particular leg or maybe two particular legs have not uh, made a proper contact you can either remove and place it back again uh, the other thing what you can do is use a micro shouldering iron and go to the respective pin use a bit of shoulder wire again a very thin shoulder wire and just add a shoulder to it so that the leg is already shouldered out anyhow uh, all this thing requires a proper practice but because it is the practice only which makes man perfect so. so this is how you can just add the shoulder wire uh, use a micro shouldering iron and a shoulder wire whichever the legs are opened up you can re-shoulder it back and your job is ready so that is in case a particular pin is not taking pro proper contact now let us come to the next option how to remove and place the capacitors so they are they are generally the PTH components so PTH component means the legs are not at this side the legs are shoulder on the other side so just turn the board say suppose I have to remove this capacitor just turn the board which are the capacitor you want to remove so come to the legs of it better is always shoulder a wire over there take a normal iron always shoulder it out add a shoulder leg as if you are shouldering you are not removing this is I am shouldering it out and thereafter just hold the capacitor from the bottom touch it to one of the leg pull it touch it to the next leg pull it touch it to the next leg pull it pull it pull it pull it so I'm just touching out two legs heating both the legs and finally you will find the capacitor will be in our hands so If it is a grounded pin, it may take time to come up. In some cases, you may also have to give, maybe your shouldering iron doesn't work out. You can also use a uh, hot air gun to give it a proper heat so that it comes out. So here is how your capacitor is out from the place here. This is your capacitor legs have come out placing is just the opposite now you have to place the capacitor uh, on placing the capacitor very important is just take a new capacitor make the two legs absolutely straight just hold it and give a heat from the back and side and the thing goes out the thing goes in we can use one more procedure that is by using a hot air gun you can clear the holes you can clear the holes something like this you just hold it over the holes of the capacitor and give it a full blow you'll find the capacitor holes are absolutely clear 
the holes are clear now your capacitor can very easily go inside and you can shoulder it from the other side so this is shouldering this is Sandeep Golani so if you want to join further if you want to know anything further do contact me www.compudrivesystem.com c-o-m-p-u-d-r-i-v-e-s-y-s-t-e-m.com my mobile number 0983109269